Hey, Northwest Hiker and Rocky. Of course, as soon as he hears the beep, he gets going. All right, just taking out my new generator that I just got. Picked up late yesterday. The box was already open. So I always worry about about that when I see an open box. All right, Rock. Yeah, it looks like everything's there. Comes with uh, some charging cables. Oh, it's got a screwdriver. That's some tools. I've got a, let's see, a spark plug wrench. And a Phillips screwdriver. So that's kind of nice. It's got tools and one or some look at it called a dirty hand tools 800 watt inverter generator I don't like it's got a got a primer bulb I don't care for that but we'll see hopefully it'll run okay there's the choke and Run. I haven't got any oil or gas in it yet. Just took it out of the box. <coughs> Caution oil has been added. Fuel engine. <coughs> 1030 engine oil. <coughs> and I think you have to pull this side cover off. Let's see. It's just got one outlet. Just one regular plug in outlet. It's got a spring on it. It'll eventually break, I bet. And here's the fuse, your ground. And it's got the regular lights. Here's the economy mode. It's got a USB charge port, which is kind of cool. I don't think I'll ever use it, but. Never know. There's the on off engine. Okay, I think I have to. Yeah, I think I have to pull this side cover off to get to the oil. Alright, I took the side cover off and I guess that's the wrong side because I don't see the oil. A place to put oil in. There's a ground connection right there. Okay, I guess I got to put that back on. I used their Phillips screwdriver that they sent along. It's got a magnetic tip, so that's nice. That's good to have. All right, let me put that back on and pull the other side off. I suppose I could probably look at the manual, but that would be going against my rules never to look at the manual. All right, now put that back on and start over okay pop that side off there's a inside of it yeah that kind of sucks it <coughs> all right rock stop okay I got oil and gas in it Let's got a got this I don't care for this Fuel, fuel bulb, but I guess that's okay. And then choke. And let's see. I like it's got a fuel on off switch. I didn't know that it had one, so I'm glad to see that because uh helps to run the generator dry if you're not going to be using it very often and you get ethanol gas in it and it'll be all pumped up definitely try and don't leave gas in it if you got ethanol okay there's an on off switch so we'll go on Dinner 
generator, let's see, the generator weighs about 20 pounds. I mean, I'll go through the specs here when I get started. Turn it right up. Take the choke off. Not too loud. What do you think, Rocky? I know. He says, I don't care. Throw the ball. That's all I care about. Where'd the ball, where'd your ball go, Rocky? Where'd your ball go? Where'd it go, Rock? I don't see your ball. Drop it in the box. I don't see it. Where'd it go, Rock? Here, where's your ball? Oh, there's the ball. It went in the cup. <laughs> I was like, Rocky says, get my ball. He knew where it was. He was looking at it. Okay. That's not too loud. Let me go grab my voltage meter and see what kind of voltage I'm getting out of it. Okay, check the voltage. It's reading about 100, let's see, about 128 volts, so that's not a little high, but not too bad. Got to grab my hair dryer. That I never use, except for when I defrost the refrigerator or defrost the freezer. All right, looks like it's putting power out. There's there's about a 500 watts. That's probably about 800. That's about a thousand watts probably and I see the yeah when the overload light was blinking and it shut itself off so it'll run on about 800 watts but the overload kicked off that's good to see it came on at about I think this probably watch this puts out probably about a thousand I would guess hair dryers are quite a bit well, that'll run on medium okay let me unplug that and start that back up. okay that started right back up first pull no problem plug that back in medium setting so I'm hoping this will handle my refrigerator starting up that's the only problem uh, with that refrigerator when it kicks on it kicks out a pretty good load on the generator in my Yamaha load up pretty good all right I got your ball Rocky all right, it's kind of a nice little generator. Needs to be running fine. I'm going to check the voltage again.
12 volt charging, so that's working fine. You get the charge cables. What do you think, Rock? Yeah, I don't know. He says, I don't know, just throw the ball for me. I don't care about no generator. Okay. There's the, some of the specs. Let me walk behind the camper and get out of the, the wind. It's an 800 watt generator, inverter generator, 800 peak voltage, or peak wattage, 800 watts. Continuous wattage, 700. 5.8 amp uh, circuit breaker. It's only got one power outlet, but you could buy a, put a Rocky. You could put a expanded outlet on it. So 1.4 horsepower, 40 cc, four cycle. California approved. Takes unleaded gas. Oh good, they have the spark plug gap 024 to 028, so that's good. A lot of times they never put the spark gap and you have to hunt that down. Run time at 50% load, 6.3 hours. Sound rating 58 dB. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's actually pretty quiet. Dimension 17 inches long by 9 inches wide by 14 inches high and weight 20 pounds. Accessories, spark, spark plug wrench, Phillips head screwdriver included and it comes with the charging cables, 12 volt charging cables that are in the bag right there. Got a on-off switch on your fuel cap. So that's good to see. There's another look at the the panel. 